welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. If you are new and if you read the title of this video and you clicked on it, you probably already have guessed that this is going to be all about the Loch Ness Monster. So I'm going to go ahead and ride this roller coaster. I'm going to give you my full honest review on what I think still needs to be improved, all the negative and all the positive. And then we're going to go check out some merchandise that is Loch Ness Monster related. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right to it. Okay, and here we are. I'm gonna take you guys with me walking through the beginning of kind of the weight line area before you get onto the coaster. Uh, Bush Gardens has taken a lot of time to add a lot of details and a lot of facts about this coaster. So if you're standing in line and it's moving kind of slow, just take in all the details, enjoy all of the fun facts and information that's around you. I didn't have that much time to actually sit squirrel. Okay, back to this. <laughs> As I was saying, I didn't have a lot of time to sit and actually read all of the interesting things, but if you did, you can piece together a whole story. Um, some people are trying to prove Loch Ness even exists. Some people don't believe that Loch Ness exists, and other people are trying to hunt her, maybe kill her, eat her, I don't know. Some people maybe want to dissect her or study her or maybe breed her, and I keep saying her because I feel like Nessie is a female, like history has um, kind of portrayed the Loch Ness Monster as a female. And maybe she's so grumpy because people are trying to hunt her, or maybe she's trying to protect her babies. I mean, who knows? But um, again, with the details, look at this beautiful uh, cork board that they have. They have all these little posters. I saw a Big Bad Wolf poster up there. That's pretty cool. You can see it says, save the monster, and then it's slashed out and says, living creature. So some people are like, no, save Nessie, leave her alone, stop trying to hunt her. <laughs> I love the black and white pictures. Look at that, there's Big Bad Wolf again. I want to say that that was my first roller coaster, not Loch Ness Monster. You only have to be 48 inches tall to ride Loch Ness Monster, so for a lot of kids, this is their first like big adult ride, and it's very uh, memorable. Like This was Andrew's first ride, this was Savannah's first ride, so um, it's a big deal for a lot of people. I know that it came out into the world in 1978, so I don't know uh, where you were in 1978. I was not born, <laughs> but so the Loch Ness Monster has always been a part of my life, um, but I know that this ride is uh, definitely a classic and it's not going anywhere and it's just one of those rides that's actually a landmark. So it's not going anywhere guys, but it has been renovated, so I'm going to tell you what I think about it after I ride it. So my honest opinion of this ride, it's a rough ride. I've always thought it to be rough, um, it kind of bangs your head around, it's, I don't know if it's all the loops or what, but there are smoother rides in the park, and I know this because I've ridden every single one. Um, this doesn't deter me from riding the ride, it's fun, uh, the theming is great, it's fast paced, it's super intense, and again, it's the only one with those two interlocking loops uh, at the park. So if you've never ridden it before, I do suggest you ride it, unless you have maybe some neck and back problems, maybe don't do it then. So that's the only downside I have for this ride. If you look here, this is footage from before they put in the Loch Ness Monster thing right there. And look, here's um, a little sign that's like really outdated. I'll show you how they updated it right here. Boom. Looks much better. Brand new signs. Two of them. Another thing that I dislike about this ride is the clanking all the way up to the top of the first drop. It's um, it's like a chain mechanism, so it's just really loud and clankety clankety clank, and I just thought that maybe they were going to replace that with something quieter or smoother to uh, kind of chug us up there to the top of the first drop, but it still was kind of loud, so that's a negative, and uh, the coaster being as rough as it is, that's another negative. But the positive is that they have updated it, and they've added the lights and the sound effects, and the theming is just so rich with this ride that it's definitely worth it. It's a good ride. Um, those are just my only two small complaints. 
Okay, from April 4th to April 21st, they had a Loch Ness Monster Sighting Center. This was only here for, you know, those that two weeks or so. And on this, there was sounds, lights, and it had a whole bunch of facts about Loch Ness Monster. And it was just really, really cool to see in person. So this is no longer at the park, but I did want to film it so that we could look back and always read all the information about it. If this is your favorite ride, then at the very end of this, after I do this little walkthrough, um, I will post still shots of each of the four sides. And you can pause this video and read every single thing about it. It's really informative it's a lot of fun and it's beautifully done so be sure to just wait for me to finish this little circle here and you can see those still shots again Loch Ness Monster was not my first roller coaster I think it was probably my second because I remember Big Bed Wolf being my first one and that kind of allowed me to get brave enough to ride the rest of the rides Loch Ness was very intimidating um, and then once Griffin was created, well, that was very intimidating for me, and Griffin still kind of intimidates me. I think it's just that hanging on the edge for like three seconds in the air, and then it drops you, so I don't know, that's just me. Tell me down below what your first roller coaster was, and if it was Loch Ness Monster. And if Loch Ness is your favorite, let me know why. I would love to hear it. Right here is really cool. It shows you a scale of Nessie's bite. So here's the part that you'd be sitting in, and then Nessie is just picking a chunk out of the front. <laughs> and coming up, I'm going to have those still shots for you. Again, feel free to pause this video so that you can read all the fun information. Alright, now off to the fun stuff. We're going to go shopping at Tweetside Gifts. Gray shirts here. We got $34.99 for that. We got $32.99 for this one. And we got $32.99 for the skipper shirt. And we got the long sleeve teal colored Loch Ness. $39.99. I really like that. This is like a little very thin hoodie. That one's gonna be $59.99 for the thin hoodie. And then this one right here is going to be $74.99. It's really, really thick material, and this is, like, not cheaply put on. This is going to last you a long time, so that's probably why it is $79.99. And then on the front, it just has this cute little blackness on the corner. Very cool. So there's your merchandise. And, oh, look, and then you can get these cute little blackness creatures. These are new. Look how cute. Oh man, and these little guys are $36.99. Super cute, I haven't seen those before. And then of course we have our little Loch Ness dude right here. And if you want to get your own Loch Ness, he is $29.99. Or she, I should say. I think Loch Ness is a girl, Nessie, right? Pretty cool. Look at that. You got your own. If Loch Ness is like your favorite ride, you can get a Loch Ness Monster patch. That looks cool. This is incredible right here. This is a Bush Gardens Williamsburg member exclusive. And so if you want to buy your Loch Ness Monster merchandise, you can come over to Tweedside's Gifts. It's in Scotland, right in front of the roller coaster. And they have t-shirts for youth, adults. They have them in yellow and in green. They also have these really cool jackets. Check this out. So the price of a jacket right here is $74.99. The price for the t-shirts are going to be $35.99. This one's $32.99. This one for the youth is $29.99. And then this one for the member exclusive in black, that is going to be 
$32.99. For $39.99, you can have your very own pet Lotness. And these guys right here, they have like a wire in them, so they can actually like form to your neck and stay on you. So that's pretty neat. You can also get this wooden Loch Ness Monster Craft. It's where you um, can assemble your very own um, roller coaster of the Loch Ness Monster. It's like a little mini replica, and it looks like this when it's finished. So that is pretty fun. If this was like your first ride or it's nostalgic to you or important, this is $54.99. Check this out, Bush Gardens Williamsburg Loch Ness. This is a magnet that you can buy. It is $10 or $9.99. And for members, that's pretty cool. The glitter moves. Nice. You also get a little plate here. The plate is $5. That's super cool. And then right here, you can also get a replica of the cart that is on the Loch Ness Monster. So you just pop these wooden pieces out, assemble it together. This is $49.99 but it ends up looking just like the cart that's actually on the roller coaster. So that's pretty neat. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.